Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be learning about the resource usage profile. So we have already created all the resources and we have allocated all the resources to all the activities. As you can see, the budgeted total cost column shows the total cost for all the activities, which is calculated based on the man hours or equipment hours or material units for all those resources. So if you go to site clearance, you can see the resources for this activity. If you go to big work, you can see the respective resources in the uh, detailed bar for this particular activity and so on. So now we will go to resource usage profile and we will analyze the total units or total man hours consumed by these particular resources as well as what is the total cost or maybe some particular period cost for those particular resources. So how to go to resource usage, usage profile, you need to go to the tools bar and you need to find the option of resource usage profile and you need to click on this particular button. So now we can just expand this. So you see that all the resources are being visible here, not just our project resources, but some other project resources also. So first of all, we need to change this particular thing to display our resources. So there are two options. One is you can go to filter by and you can click on current projects resources. Other is you can go to group and sort by and you can go to customize and you can choose the option of assigned to current project and you can click on OK. So this is how you can do the second method, but we will go by first method because that is very easy. So you can go to filter by and current projects resources. Now, whatever resources are available here, you see these are only the resources assigned to IT building construction project. On the very right hand side in the bottom, you can see one graph available, which is displaying some bars, some yellow color bars and some units are mentioned here and some time scale is there. So first of all, how to zoom in and zoom out for the time scale. See, you can see two options here. One is the month. Another is some dates like 7th, 14th of October, 21st of October. So to zoom in and zoom out, what you need to do is, first of all, bring this cursor onto the dates or maybe onto the months. Then just with your mouse, make it move right or make it move left for zoom in and zoom out respectively. So this is how you can zoom in and zoom out. Other ways, you can use these options also to zoom in and zoom out. But I think this magnifying glass option is much, much easier and convenient to use. So now you see these units which are on the Y axis. These are your budgeted units. OK, or C, if you go to this PCC, so this will be your budgeted units. That means in your cubic meters. So these are for materials. If you go to electrical conducting, this will be C, one, two, three, four, five. This will be lump sum now. If you go to flooring, it will be square meters. Similarly, if you go to, uh, let's say, uh, some helper. So these will be now man hours. Similarly, if you go to some particular engineer or maybe planning person, then also it will be man hours. So this is how you interpret the graph. Now there is one thing, if you want to change the time scale, if you want them to be displayed only monthly, not uh, dates and all, you don't want to be visible or you want some weeks to be visible along with the month. So what you can do is you can right click and you can go to time scale option. And in the time scale option, there will be so many formatting that you can do. First is you can choose the type of calendar, like you want fiscal calendar, which fiscal is nothing but a financial calendar, or you want the normal calendar, which we have, or you want week of the year. Then further on, you can go to date and interval, like you want month and week to be displayed. You want week and days to be displayed. So I think we'll explore the uh, calendar one because it will have multiple options. So you want days and hours to be displayed you want month and week to be displayed. So maybe we will go with uh, month and week. Okay, so month and week we will choose and we will click on. Okay, see also you can choose from where to time scale, from where to start the time scale, you, from current date you want, earliest project date you want, latest project finish you want. Like right now it is displaying everything, even before your uh, 22nd October also it is showing. So let us keep it as earliest project start and let us keep it as okay. Now you see it is displaying the weeks as well as your uh, months. Like you see 4th, 11th, then 18th, then 25th. Week wise it is displaying and also months it is displaying. If you want to change the time scale further, you can do it. But let us keep it as it is as of now. So now see. 
uh, here only two options are being shown one is this uh, black line is being shown which is your limit another is budgeted units is being shown so one thing is clear if you click on any particular resource that particular resource data will be visible to you like if you click on this yellow bar then you can see the budgeted units for your plumber are being shown as 60 for this particular week Similarly, it is showing as cumulative also for this particular week. But if you click on this one, then it will show you 10, which is the budgeted units for this particular week and your cumulative for overall like this plus this. Okay. So I'll show you one more thing, which is if you want to change the data, which it, which is showing like right now, it is showing budgeted units by date and also cumulative you can change the color also from here if you want if you want actuals also to be visible you can click on this but right now we have not tracked the progress so actual and budgeted will be almost same then you can also display the cost here but right now we will click on ok and we will change the time scale to see it in a better fashion so we'll go to time scale and maybe we will choose the time scale of month and let us go for week and day now see it has shown every week's data for every day like for 28th of october it has shown everything similarly uh for Till uh, 4th of November, it has shown Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So this is how you can adjust your time scale and you can uh, check the data for that particular time scale. So we'll go back to time scale. Maybe we will try with week of year and we'll go back to month and year. Okay. So I think this was the most convenient one. Now weeks are also displayed with their numbers like for January 2019 first week. Now see if I go to the resources tab and sorry if I go to the activities tab and suppose if I open the first activity which is your site clearance. So for site clearance if I go to the detailed view. So you see that for site clearance which is being executed only in October and similarly excavation in foundation is also being executed in October. So the main resources used in these two activities are your planning manager, your construction manager, your engineer one, your mason. Similarly for second activity, if you see planning manager is common, construction manager is common, engineer one is common, mason is common and one excavator is also being used. So we will go back to resource usage profile and we'll see for mason or maybe we will see for planning manager. So Ram Chaudhary is the planning manager. So see, if you go to October 2018, so this is the first one. And if you see budgeted units are 60 and cumulative is also 60. Limit is nothing but some uh, limits. It is displaying based on some internal calculations. So you need not ponder on this. You can switch it off also from the uh, options of usage profile. Now for next week, if you see, if you click then 60 is for this particular week and 120 man hours is the cumulative. Why is it coming 60? Because that particular person is being utilized in the site for six days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and 10 hours every day he's working. So 60 is his budgeted for that particular week and cumulative is 120 for both the weeks. So this is the information that you get from this. You can generate the reports also, which we'll be learning in the later stage of this particular video series. So one more thing is to bring the cost into picture. See, right now it is showing the units, but if you want the cost to be displayed, you just click on the cost and you click on OK. So now you see for any particular resource, it will show you the cost on the Y axis. You can show like $2,000, $4,000 and all. So if you want to see the total cost of the carpenter, since carpenter is being used only in one activity, which is nothing but your woodwork. If you go there and if you see these doors and windows only for three days, this carpenter is being used. So if you click on this particular option, you see the budgeted cost is 5250. And cumulative is also same because there is no other week of work for doors and windows. It is only three days activity. And from here also, you can see that it is 57250, which is similar to this. Okay. 
So this is how you calculate your budgeted cost. Five two five zero. But this is the budgeted total cost. Like see, this is only for carpenter. But this is your total cost, which includes your carpenter, your equipments also, your staff also. But if I show you the detailed view and we want to see the cost of carpenters only, then we can go here and we can see the cost of carpenter, which is five two five zero. This was being shown graphically through the resource usage profile. So this is the advantage of resource usage profile. You can see different resources in one click, and the cumulative cost irrespective of the activity. So this is how we check the resource usage profile and interpret it. You can analyze this data. You can copy this data to your Excel. Use these graphs and all. How to do this? We'll learn later in the video. So that's all for the video. Thank you, everyone.